Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to cook pole deje or you can call it locally hot pot. Season greeting from your girl ST and welcome to another episode of cooking with ST. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can cook pole deje. Pole is a French appellation of chicken and we call this food locally hot pot. Well, this food entails chicken, Irish potatoes and a lot of vegetables. I'm going to show you the steps and the ingredients necessary for this dish well if you haven't subscribed to my channel please click the red subscribe button below and click the notification bell for an update so that you will be notified each time i upload a new video thank you and keep watching these are the ingredients we need for this dish we need onions the bell pepper the green the red yellow bell pepper ginger garlic fresh tomatoes our fresh spices which entails pencil leaves coriander spring onions and basil leaf we also have our mixed vegetable which also enters carrot green beans and whatsoever you like and we need vegetable oil or granite oil we also need our uh, Irish potatoes as you can see where well, I'll also present to you this ingredients where it's already fixed and ready to use we start by peeling the Irish potatoes just the way I am doing. By this time, you should be boiling your chicken on the gas stand. While you are peeling the Irish potatoes, make sure your chicken is already on the gas stand boiling. The next step, you then wash the peeled Irish potatoes and you parboil it inside the stock the chicken stock that you use to boil the chicken so you boil it inside the stock so that you can have this this parboil it then i will tell you the next thing to do keep watching i boil your irish potatoes for about 10 minutes i'm using the stock of the chicken because i really want it so i want to have this taste you should know what i mean this is my secret i'm giving it to you guys in the 10 minutes that you're using to boil your Irish potatoes, use it to fix your ingredients, slice your ingredients, like you can see. But here I'm going to add um, an additional spice on this food. I'm going to add thyme and dry parsley leaf. As you can see, all of my ingredients are already prepared. So it's time for us to start with the cooking. So I have to start by cooking my sauce, tomato sauce for this food. By cooking a tomato sauce, but I'm not gonna talk much on how to cook tomato sauce. You just look at my description box. I'm gonna share the link on the video on how you can cook stew. So you click on the video, it will take you on the various step by step how you can cook your tomato sauce. So, babe, just keep watching for this one, still helps you. Tomato sauce for about 30 minutes for you don't want to have a sour taste on your tomato sauce So you cook it for 30 minutes during that 30 minutes you use the time to fry your chicken Using deep frying and you also use the same time to bake your parboiled Irish potatoes on the oven for about 10 minutes bake it for about 10 minutes using 350 degrees Fahrenheit Celsius now that the tomato sauce is cooked, it's time for you to season it. Season it to your taste. I'm not going to tell you how to season it. Season it to your taste. Then you then add you know, your... You add your thyme and the fried chicken inside the tomato sauce and mix it and allow it also to cook for just two minutes before you add the other ingredients. The bell pepper inside the tomato sauce and mix it let it cook for some second then you later on add the carrot green beans that means the mixed vegetable inside the tomato sauce also stir it and allow it to cook for about 50 seconds then it's time for us also to remove our baked Irish potatoes and add it inside the mixture and that will be the final thing we are putting inside this tomato sauce just look how the to the Irish potatoes is baked and this is how I really want it to have this color 
to be exactly like this so that's how you have to bake yours at the last ingredient and remember allow it to cook for about three minutes so that it can mix with the tomato sauce and remember don't stir this food with anything use your hand and shake the pot on the side just shake it don't stir and your food is ready and ready to serve this is a meal oh so gorgeous i can't wait to taste this delicious dish from cameroon i can't even wait to taste it Wow, your food is ready and ready to serve. I hope you like my presentation. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the red subscribe button below and click the notification bell for an update. Enjoy your me. Bye bye. Ciao ciao.